Good morning. It's me, You're Mikey shorts. Pipes. I am wearing shorts today. And welcome back to your second day. I promise you, the first day is always the hardest. I'm sure. All right. Wasn't that hard? Let's go hit up our service calls. Stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Time. Timer flash seven times. ETU system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. Good morning. We're here for the air conditioning. We're a little early. Hope, yeah, hope you don't mind. That's great. Okay. okay. What's wrong? So the deal was that uh, it's in the upstairs. Okay. I'll take you up. Sure. sure. This one seems to be fine. First floor. Okay. Yeah. So second floor, no good. Yeah, it doesn't need to be cooling quite properly. And I think that the... Um, This is on this is on a separate. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you did the work. Yes, right? we yeah, installed a dual right, uh, right, right. ductless system right. for you. So um, I don't, I don't know. You know, the, Except the for seven, is, seven, seven, eh? The programming is all messed up. Yeah, you know? it thinks it's ten fifty in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. the programming is all messed up. It always goes up to seventy two when I wake That's up in the morning. Like, Let's see what the program is. Sweating. So first, it thinks it's ten fifty in the morning. And I'll review the schedules with you. It's 6 a.m. Monday through Friday, 72 degrees. Too hot. I'm going to go over the, the schedule right, first. Yeah. 8 a.m., 68. 5 p.m., 72. Overnight, 10 p.m., 72. Uh, Saturday morning, 72. 72. 72. 74 overnight. Sunday, 72. 72. 72 overnight. 72 as well. So, let's start with the time. Time. Ethy, what time is it? Oh, we know, it's 7.55. We were a little bit early. And, and it's not Saturday. It is Wednesday. And then we're going to hit run. And there we go. So now, let's go over the program. What time... Do you guys wake up and what temperature would you, would you like it to be when you wake up Monday through Friday? Yeah, I, you know, I guess 72, uh, you know, because it's a night that I like it cooler. Okay. I like it cool at night. Now, nobody's really up here during the day. Okay. But when you wake, you, but you live on the top of the second floor. Uh, well, you sleep in the second floor. Yeah. The bedrooms are all here. Yeah. So what time do you generally wake up? Six. And what temperature would you like it to be when you wake up? Seven. Okay. So now, and what temperature would you like to be overnight? 69. Okay, so at 69, all right. So at 5, 4, 5.45 in the morning, it's going to go up to 70 degrees. Okay, that's Now, during the day, in the morning, what time is everyone out of the second floor? Um, Generally. Yeah, okay, I got it. Uh, I don't know, say 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. So at 8 o'clock in the morning for the duration of the, the after, for the morning and the afternoon, what temperature would you like to get? 72. 72. So we're going to raise this. override it. Yes. But if I set this properly now, you yeah, won't have to, you know, uh -huh. let's, right. let's putzing around with it later. Right. Now, what time do generally, do people generally start coming to the second floor? In the, um, in the late, in the afternoon or in the evening? Six o'clock. Okay, and what temperature would you like to be up here? Back to seventy. Back to seventy. So we're gonna set this to five thirty because it's gonna take some time yeah, to yeah, cool yeah. off, okay. and it will be seventy. And what time do people retire for the evening? Nine o'clock. Okay, and what temperature would you like to be at nine o'clock? Sixty-nine. Okay, time. We're gonna go to. Not such a variation. Yep, we're gonna go to eight forty-five. Time again. 69. Now, the next is Shabbos and Monday and Sunday. What temperature Saturday morning would you like it to be? <laughs> if we do this now, it's good. Should I just make it 72 during the day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 6 a.m. 72 is good or 70 at 6 a.m.? Figure you get out of bed maybe around a little yeah, bit later. 
Okay, so we're gonna lower this to 70. And the next is during the day, 72. Five o'clock, 70, 70. And we're gonna change that to six. And overnight is 69. Yeah. Starting at around 8.45 time. 8.45. Sunday, we'll do the same thing. You like to be a little cooler during the morning. And 70, 70. And at night is 8.45. And that is... 69 and then we hit run perfect all right and since we're here for the air conditioning and the client thinks maybe there's a problem with the programming of the thermostat let's check out the lennox r410a system i already went into the attic i made sure that the filter at the filter access panel built into the air handler is clean homeowner says they change it every year they should be changing more frequently than that because it's a one inch thick filter it's not a four inch media filter and uh, let's see how this thing's running. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get a lesson on tools. This right here is called Kev. If I ask you for Kev, you're gonna get, what is it called again? Yeah. No, what is it technically this tool is called? An adjustable wrench. Small adjustable wrench, Small adjustable correct? Wrench. Because it's adjust, because you can adjust it like this. See that? And we use this in most cases to take off these caps. Take a look, see, it goes on there and you crack it open. Same thing with the other side. All right? Compliments of Kev. Blue, as you guessed and correctly answered, low pressure. Red is high pressure. Yellow, charge. Or nitrogen test or things like that, all right? Hooked up. And right now I'm gonna guess she's on the charge. I'm gonna get our temperature probes on there and see what our support is. Well, the refrigerant, the refrigerant in the system is low. We have 2.2 degrees of subcooling, and that should be closer to 10. I have a 20, almost 27 degree evaporator coil, and an 85 degree condensing coil. The indoor temperature is 72, the outdoor temperature is 82. She's on the charge. Nice little service call, right? We programmed the thermostat. We added uh, 2.6 pounds of R410A discussed leak detection options with them but at the end of the day they just wanted me to uh, give them instant gratification did you learn anything not anything more than yesterday okay the day is young thanks for watching make sure you thumbs up be well god bless stay safe